How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to walk you through step by step how to set up your Zebra LP2844 Ethernet edition with a Windows computer. I bought a printer off of eBay for $25. It was a Zebra Ethernet networking capable printer and I didn't really know how to set it up. There were no videos or tutorials out there showing me how to do it. So it took me a little over an hour to figure it out. So I figured I would record the screen to show you guys exactly how to do it. So if you have this printer or plan on getting this printer, this is how you do it. Printer, as I already mentioned before, has networking capabilities. So you can hook this printer up to your network in order to use it between multiple computers. You will have to have it close to your router, but you won't have to have any USB cords plugged into any of your computers that you have it installed on, which is a great feature. I really, really like this printer and I wish I could keep it, but I already promised to give it away. We're gonna be giving it away today on Instagram, actually. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the tutorial or anything you wanna see, let me know in the comment section below and let's jump right into it. The first thing you wanna do is plug in your power supply and your ethernet cable into the printer and then plug the ethernet cable into the router. The ethernet port is going to blink red and eventually it's going to blink green. I think that means it's connected to the router. They have established whatever communication that they need. You're then gonna wanna calibrate your printer if you haven't already calibrated it, which lets the printer know what kind of labels is uh, loaded into it. So in order to do that, the printer has to be off. You're going to hold the front button and then you're gonna flip the switch to turn the printer on and then it's going to blink red. Once it starts blinking red, you release the front button. It's going to print out some sheets and measure the distance between the labels and it will do an auto calibration and remember those settings. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn your printer around, press the little secret black button in the back next to the ethernet port and that's going to print out your ZebraNet printer server configurations page. That is very important for this next step we're going to be doing. You're going to need uh, Zebra printer setup utilities. I will put a link to this in the description if you don't have it already. It's the software that Zebra uses to install the printers and to access some of the settings with their software. So you're gonna to wanna to download that right there. Once it is installed, you are going to open it. Our printer is in an other port. Finish. Next, we're gonna install a printer. I'm going to find the LP28 Zebra Z Designer LP2844. We're gonna hit next. And then this is where it gets kind of complicated. I had to click add port, and then this circle spun for a while. So bear with me. All right. Then this pops up. We're going to name it Zebra, L-A-N Zebra is fine. And then the printer name or IP address. That is where we're going to take the number off of our Zebra print printer configuration because it's going to tell the computer where the printer is on the network. 192.168.1.207 is the location of our printer. Yours will probably be a little bit different. One, we're going to hit OK and then we're going to hit Next. And we don't really need to install Zebra Font Download or Wizard. They're just trying to give you extra software on your computer that you really don't need. I'm going to hit Next. And there we go, it, there's our printer. We're going to configure the settings really quick just to make sure everything's set up correctly. You're gonna put your width and your height label dimensions in here. Ours is four by six, so whatever labels you're using, gonna hit next. We're gonna do speed of 2.5 inches per second. We're gonna jump our darkness up to 10. Next, that's fine. Next, next, oops. We don't have the cutter on it, so we're just gonna hit next. We're just gonna hit next again. And we're just gonna hit finish. Okay, so the printer is installed. We're gonna now print a sample label. It's in four by six format. You're gonna wanna make sure any label you're trying to print is in four by six format, because most shipping services automatically format you in eight and a half by 11, because that's the most common printer size that people have at their house. So you're gonna have to manually change a lot of those to four by six. So don't be discouraged if your print if your labels look wonky if you're trying to send the wrong signal to the printer. So you're gonna need this four by six formatted label. We did want to make sure that we picked our Z Designer LP2844 right there. And everything looks good. 
we are going to send that signal to the printer. Goes through space, and there we have it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions about this setup, let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already a member, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.